then of race one. And a good start right from the get-go from Nori Yukihaga as he dived into the hole shot. He actually got away well too and dived into what was fourth place at the time. Corsa got away well, Ray got away well. And it was close at the front as Corsa was knocked out of position. Haga continued to pull away, but soon enough, Spees dived into second place on turn one. And went in pursuit of his arch rival. Ray hadn't given up just yet though. Back he came. Meanwhile, the three of them pulled away from the chasing pack again into turn one. Harger, though, was pulling away, and Spees knew it, so he had to get past, and he did so quick. But once in second place, he started to put his head down and get some laps in. Harger still struggling from that injury, it seems, but early on in the race looked comfortable. But Spees would reel him in, and bit by bit, the pair of them would go at it, pulling away to some six seconds. Finally, Spees made the move and into the lead. Massimo didn't make a move at that point himself and remained quietly confident, so to speak. Haga looked good, made his own move almost into the lead again. Spees cuts his nose off and holds on to it. And in fact, Haga, at the front part of the circuit, the first part looked strong. Then the second part, Spees looked even stronger. Haga did make his move. The crowd went wild into the lead, but went wide. Spees picked it up, got tighter and took back the lead. It carried on that way for some time, all the way, in fact, to the penultimate lap. There was just 0.2 of a second between them coming into the final laps, but at the end, Harger threw in the ghost and said, that's it for me.